Radio with Gatica. We are here, live and direct, Studio Square Recordings, latinomix.com. We're here. Look who I got. It's your boy, Roddy. got the pack in the Ooh. building, GWO, G-Dub. It's 4K, Rocky, 5-2, Representative, L's up. Bow. 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 Also known as Goon World Order. See si or no? Mm -hmm. See, I, I said that. I said that right. Duh, right? Snapple said, facts. Snapple facts. Big major facts. Mm -hmm. So I'm so happy that you guys came here to talk about it with me. That's my show. Talk about it with Gatika. Talk about. It. Have you gotten to see any of the show before, guys? I'm gonna ask you. Honestly hmm? speaking, I haven't. He hasn't, but it's okay. He's here now, and that's what's important. Mm -hmm. I, and I'm gonna I'm say he didn't either, but it's okay. He's no, here no, now. No, no, no. I'm a little bit more. I'm a little bit more in tune. Cause, okay. Um, my cousin. When I told him, I was, he was like, yeah, yo, you know what I mean? Like, Because he so already cool. told me he doesn't follow, no, he doesn't like many people because he mm -hmm. only follows and likes his own stuff, mm -hmm. which I can relate to because not for nothing, I really don't be out here listening to other podcasters and other DJs mm -hmm. because I'm so busy doing my own thing. So I, right. I respect it. I salute you. I see you. Mm -hmm. So let's get straight to it. Let's talk about it. Let's um talk about it. What are you guys doing? Tell me about your music. Tell me, who is it that you're speaking to with your music? Um. If for the people that know me, I I reach out to everybody. You see what I'm saying? Like I do all type of music because I just don't want to draw in one crowd. Like the one crowd that be in would be the young people that they like drill or they like certain certain mm -hmm. songs with just a good melody. But to me, it's like all right, this. Is, it's big crowds out there. It's many different crowds. Yeah. It's not just one. So if I could try to get everybody. You want all the bag. I want all. I want everything. Why would I just want a portion of what they could give me when I could get everything from what everybody could give me? Listen, I hear you. I'm in that For same real. boat. For real. I'm yeah. in that same boat. What about you? Um, I just started rapping, like taking it serious, like like a year ago. I'm just regular guy on the block, you feel me? But... What block you from? Where you from? I'm from Corona. Okay. From Corona. Oh, Queens got the money. You already know. All right. You know, okay. I met Rocky when I was very young. You know, but at that time I wasn't. He been rapping since a minute. I have. I was a rapper. I mean, I wrote stuff, mm -hmm. but I never took it serious. You know, I never really, you know, took that chance to, you know, put it out there like, like I'm doing now. You feel me? So once I started taking it serious, I'm like, oh shit. You know, I started seeing things differently. You know, so. It's it's putting yourself in a very vulnerable position to put your music out to the mm -hmm. world because I think being from Queens, being from New York, there's so many artists and it's so like mm -hmm. oversaturated content that like if you put it out there, you're just another guy doing it. Exactly. But, That's exactly how I was thinking. Yes. Like, I don't want to be just like everybody's. Exactly. I feel that. But kudos to you for just being like, nah, I'm going to do it. I don't care if there's a hundred guys out there. I'm going to do mm -hmm. it. Um my follow-up question is what makes you what do you think makes you different from other rappers from queens or your sound it makes me different I mean, well a lot of people don't know about corona queens you know and you know when you hear corona you know you're gonna hear you know mexicans on rosebud and that's correct you feel me but they don't know really what's going on you feel me they don't really know what's really happening in corona so i feel like I'm putting that out there, you know, like I'm exposing, in, in, in a way exposing what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, I try to watch out what I say, you feel me, too, at the same time, you know, because yeah, it get real, yeah. you know, but... When keeping um, it real goes wrong, like... <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but, you know, like, I'm trying to introduce Corona to the world, you know, like, Corona's one of those cities that you don't really like, ah, Corona Queens, you know, like... Have you heard of the Beat Nuts? No, I haven't. So how old are you? I mean, I'm 25. Okay, so, like... I'm a, there's a group from back in the day, mm -hmm. just, just some education. I come from an education family. Mm -hmm. um, the Beat Nuts, they're actually from Corona, Rep mm -hmm. Corona, hard. Don't. Don't. And they're like super Don't. old school. So mm -hmm. I would encourage you just to, to listen to them because they're actually like a big deal see, and, like, and they rep Corona hard. Even me being from Corona, I didn't even know that. You no, but you're also it. younger. That's, yeah, it's it's it, that's kind of like a 35 and older, mm -hmm. I feel yeah, like, but, probably. You know, but Corona changed now, you know. Oh, yeah, Corona. One thing I could say about as far as him being an artist and how different he is, any track he jumps on he brings gloss to it. Yeah. Like, there was times where I was going to do a track by myself. Like, nah, you know what I mean? He do a verse, I'm like, nah, keep that. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
he bring he he really do bring something different to the table. He's one of those humble where, people that don't talk about like how good they are. I mean, he to me, I feel like he feels he's nice, but us, the people around him, make him seem better than what he what he feels himself. You it's definitely I mean? a team effort. I believe teamwork make the dream work. Cool. And like mm -hmm. the fact that you're even saying that shows me a lot about your character. Like I know the team, the way I would met you guys, I off the bat was like, wow, this is a great team. Like anybody mm -hmm. who's willing to put the work in because it requires a lot of work. Like people see pe like artists and rappers and this and, and they see the chains and they think it's that it's easy, but it's not. It's a lot of hard work and yeah, a lot of yeah. stuff that happens behind closed doors that people aren't privy to. So like you're young, but you're doing. You're in the right steps, and and kudos to you. Tell me what what song are we what song are we teasing today? What 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 does my audience need to make sure that they hear? Line them up. Ooh. Video dropping soon. Really? Shout out to Waters. Shout out to Lex Luthers. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is like one of our biggest projects. The last project we did was big, and that was Goon Source. Numbers, numbers was going up. It was so crazy. From the last video, dumb numbers even went up. So, I, I I see a lot of progress going on. You know what I'm saying I see um and we started we started from scratch, mm -hmm. like from zero zero zero, no followers, no nothing. <laughs> so you respect it so much more, right? Yeah. It's like I could I can attest to that. Like it's just so much work. So I mean, one thing my manager said. Shout out to my my manager Q. And he told me Managers my, are essential Shout out to the manager Facts Shout out to my job. manager Q Q told me And My little bro Roddy He said yo Y'all look better Than what y'all feel You see what I'm saying That meant a lot Because I ain't gonna front You know Life Really Takes tolls on people mm -hmm. For real And Everybody got their own situation mm -hmm. But when he told me that That made me feel better Cause it's like You know Like yeah, Look at the numbers my followers is going up. You know what I mean? I got my Instagram deleted. Now I'm. Yo, why half. does that happen? Yeah, Can we talk just, about that? Hey, yo, look, Instagram. Man, listen, man. Anybody who works for Instagram, Delete I need to Instagram. know right now look, what right the right hell right. happens with Instagram and getting deleted because look. I work really hard on my Instagram. Talk. If somebody delete my Instagram, there's going to be problems. Like, <laughs> big, big problems. Like, Somebody who worked for Instagram need to hit me up, DM me. What is it that happens? Are we violating codes? Like, yeah, what's the group? Know. What's look, the problem? Look, I went out of town. I met some people that I don't think I'm gonna meet again. Mm, okay. And they, and all, all my shit got deleted. Now I'm at half of what I had before. But it's what I see again. I see progress because my shit's going up. Yeah. Everything's going up. We got a show this Saturday in Jersey. Ooh. Jersey will be out there. Jersey. You heard? Um, oh. We was in PA. You know what I mean? We doing our thing. So y'all are doing a little mini touring. Yeah. Okay. Atlanta next. Okay, mini touring. Houston. You see what I'm saying? We out there. We we going to the south. You know what I mean? We're going to go to the Midwest and all that, man. We out there. Chicago. We, we out there. We out so there. you domestic right now. We doing domestic touring right now. Yeah. So if we were to be able to go international, where out of this country would you want to go first? I just, yo, we, we definitely got to. Japan. Japan. Ooh, gotta that's go an to, interesting um, one. Not for nothing. Japan got the yeah. biggest hip-hop. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Shout out to Shout out to Japan. Um, I got, I got some fans in the Netherlands. Netherlands. The Dutch. Uh, shout out, shout out to my man DB the plug, man. He be said to be the beats, man. He really fuck with us. Like he really fuck with us. You know? So do you work with like one main producer or do you have like in house do you work with different producers? I'm not going li like for, for, for all artists, they know. They know the vibes. You feel me? <laughs> You find that one. Yeah, because they get mad. Fuego. They get mad. Shout out to my man Fuego. Fuego <laughs> in the building. Fuegs. Ah. My man Fuego is the only one I fuck with. Like, so I, I, it'd be hard for me to fuck with other people because we 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 established. He knows how I how I work. He knows how I like to how I like to record. Yeah. How I like to get things together. When I go to other studios, it's like starting like, fresh. Yeah, you gotta yeah. get to know me. You're slow. You want that you New on York phone. time. Yeah, you like you New on York the time. phone. You on the phone or something, but I don't know that you talking to your girl or anything. It's just. Nah, I definitely believe. Stuff. I definitely yeah, believe in like, creating <laughs> that connection with the producer. Yeah. You have to speak the same language. You guys have to know where you're at. 
and exactly. being loyal to your producers. It's like the way y'all be loyal to y'all barbers. You gotta be loyal to the producers. Gotta be loyal to your producer. Man. That's it, cause then it gets it gets a little. You know what I'm saying? You can't be ch changing producers, but you know facts. So tell me your Instagrams, cause I know we were just talking about Instagram. Mm -hmm. Shout out your Instagram, cause it's, I want to make sure all my audience follows mm -hmm. you. It's 4K Rocky Simple, no underscore. It's 4K Rocky. <clears throat> Um, um, gotta go get it. Um, the goal is it with a zero and then an underscore at the end. Gotta That's it. Get. So you're on Instagram. The music that you have, remind me, that is on YouTube. All major platforms. All major platforms. Oh. Talk Anywhere about Anywhere where you okay. can type in a name. Spotify. Anywhere. Apple Music. Anywhere. All of that. All of that. So run it up. Run that music run up. Run that thing up. Um, run that up, no. Let's see. So um, let's let's get a little spicy. Let's get a little spicy because you know we came here to talk about it, right? Right. So, I don't, you're saying you're a little bit newer to the game. You've been, or how long would you say you've been in the industry for? I've been like as far as like music, mm -hmm. making music. I started off making music. You see, back in the days it was you know download your CD and mm -hmm. make burn your copies. And so boom, that day, it wasn't working out. Mm -hmm. So I did battle rap, trying to get my name out there. And 21 battles on YouTube. Then I fell off a little bit. That wasn't working either. It was just another dead end. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because battle rap, um, battle rap is like very it different. It doesn't end. It's like basketball. You win a championship. Yeah. And fighting. You win a belt. That rap, you just keep going, going, going here, there, 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 there. You lose, win, lose, win. It's just up and down. Mm -hmm. So I gave up on that. Ran into my manager. I've known my manager a long time. Haven't seen him in years. I seen him at, a, at an event. I said, yo, what you doing? Said, Pop out to the studio. Yo, I got a song. I want you to jump on it. Jumped on it. It was on his album. Shout out. Um, Nine five vibes, man. Go check that out. Shout out bottom line. Shout out to you. Um, that was my first thing back. I've been gone for a while. I was under a rock for real. Did that? That brought me back out. So all together, like eighteen years. It took me eighteen years to really figure out the formula. Like, yeah. It's a formula to this. And then there's always things changing. Yeah, it's always so, the average changing. Yeah. So when I got up with, with my manager, he's like, yo, look, I know how we can do it. I know how I know the formula to get it done. And I got up with him, we did bando. Bando just went retarded. Out of every song in our in, out of every song in our neighborhood of people that was rapping, that was one of the most played songs, not even in New York. Pittsburgh. Nice. Uh, now you definitely have to leave. Was, you was like you definitely have to leave where like you're other, from. Yeah, other places. We was getting spins out there, so I was like, I bet it, it, it worked. So all together, about eighteen years it took me to get everything together. And then so you've been putting been, in yeah. you 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 put in that work. So mm -hmm. yeah, for real, battles so, all. So that. we're gonna talk about it then, right? Mm -hmm. Give me one positive about the industry, and then I want one negative about the industry. One positive. The positive is you can you don't know who you're gonna meet. You know what I mean? You meet some real important people, you meet some real people that really fuck with you. I've been lied to many times in, in my career. Young, growing up, grown yeah, I can get you a uh, feature with Jay Hood. And oh, so that's like, not just a girl thing? I thought oh, it was just because nah, I was a girl. Because nah, I have a great face. I thought it was just because nah. of that. So you guys nah, said it too? Nah, 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 nah. Alright, well that too. makes me feel a little bit better. Sorry. No, but you see, me as a young and not knowing the game, of course I'm going to be hyped. Because, of course. You know what I mean? Oh, word, you could do this and ah, ah, ah. And then you don't do it. And then I'm like one of those kids at Christmas. Mm, fucking Santa Claus don't come. <laughs> you got the cold like sad. Right? Yeah, like damn. But me growing up and me knowing the game and me knowing that I don't need nobody to hit this man. I hit this man myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I could get up with him myself. So, so those are your... My, my, my negative about the game is, yeah, being lied to. My, you know, motherfuckers tell you anything. You know what I'm saying? And some people just, they be so starstruck. 
Yeah. If you meet 50 Cent, 50 Cent tell you, yo, I'll sign you tomorrow. A anybody would be hype. But it's just me knowing, like, all right, you gonna sign, uh, I know what I know Let now. Let me see the receipts. What you gonna sign me for? Yeah. Yo, this is what I got. I'll show you my body of work. What's up? It's a different ball game now. So I know more about the game, so. So your experiences have taught you to probably proofread, get your receipts, and not to be believing everything and anything people say. Oh yeah, that's a fact. Oh, and shout out to my aunt Stacy. That's a, she like my lawyer. Any any contracts that go by, Aunt Stacy read them over. You feel me? Shout out Aunt Stacy. I love you, baby. I have a lot of upcoming artists and um, people who are kind of in that grind. So I think a big message to them would definitely be getting your paper situations in mm -hmm. right and. Um, getting those lawyers getting a lawyer to proofread anything that you're signing is definitely a big major message to you know the younger kids who probably don't know and who like you said get starstruck and get so excited mm -hmm. about things because people could just take your ideas and then make it themselves be like oh well they was just hyped to get on the track with us and they didn't even take no money and then that person go make a whole bag off of your idea and your creation so Ain't nothing you could do about it yeah so before that patents no i'm sorry um, trademarks, LLCs, get your papers right, right? right? Copyright, get your shit right. I know yeah, you're a little bit younger. I know you're a little bit younger. Not to say that you're newer to the game, but how about you give me one positive experience and maybe a negative experience I mean, as well? I the only positive experience I got is I got a valid team. You know, a lot of people don't have a lot of valid teams, so... And shout that's out to my so team, essential. Know, Mr. Mr. Q, Mr. Fuego, you know, Mr. Rocky, you know, shout out to them. Rocky. You know, I, you know, when I'm feeling down, they go look for my ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's some time I'm trying to avoid these things. You feel me? <laughs> but they go look for me. You feel me? Like, everywhere. Yeah, where, everywhere the fuck they can think of them, they, they find me. You know? So, and let me tell you, that's a big deal. Yeah, it is. Because I think as artists, you, we get so consumed by, like, content creation and, oh, and the oh, grind man. and, like, funding that grind. So if you have people who truly believe in you and who are cool. gonna push you and who aren't yes men and who aren't gonna be like, yeah, that sounds good just because like, like no, like it's important to have people who are looking for you I see, and on top of you, making sure you're doing what you gotta do. Me personally, I see other, you know, up and coming artists that don't have mm -hmm. shit, you know, like literally, you know, and I'm thankful for that, like, all right, you know, I could have been one of them, you know, one of those artists, you know, and they really gotta do what it, you know, like yeah. go far and beyond, you know, to get what they want to get, you know, so I mean, shout out to them too, you know. And one negative thing about this, fruit fall, I, mean, I got to agree with what he said, you know, there's a lot of people that would, you know, like they would promise you the whole fucking world, promise you a whole fucking, you won't get signed by tomorrow or by tonight, you know, but they ain't do shit, you know, so, you know, like, you know, it's good learning from his experiences because, you know, he tell, he's putting me onto the game right now, you know, like, yo, this is going to happen, you know what I'm saying? So now, it's negative, yeah, because, you know, people be lying, but at the same time, it's positive because I already got, like I said, I got a team behind me to put me on to stuff like this, you know what I'm saying? So I'm already, I already know, you know, when somebody's playing funny moves and shit like mm -hmm. that. You've you got the knowledge already. Yeah. It's definitely important. That's dope that you guys have what you're going on. I was listening to the music. I love it. We're going to play one of your tracks after this video. And um, tease us a little bit more. I know you're going on a mini tour. You dropped your song. Um, are we doing like an EP? Like, um, what's going on? The, ne the next thing, uh, we want to finish this. We want to finish this um, GWO shit. So we got some more videos coming. If you need any girls for your videos, you know I DJ. <laughs> yeah, DJ in your video. We do the whole. Just saying. <laughs> I do interviews and other things as well. Y'all yeah, see it, and it's real. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but um yeah, we got to drop some more videos and um GWO album I say sometime this year. Okay. Sometime this year, beginning of next year. I mean everything is just flowing right now, so I'm it not has even to be trying, organic. Yeah, it has I'm to not be even natural. trying to rush I ain't even trying to rush things. It's just flowing and it's everything been going good. The feedback been good. The the motivation, everything, everybody around us, people reaching out to us, trying to work with us now. You know what I mean? So that's even a, a, a better look because before nobody was even trying to reach out. Yeah. People were reaching out. GW on the building, you heard? Ah, ah. What you know would what I mean? you want? What is something that your fans wouldn't know about you and I would like you to tell them about today? 
a fun um, fact uh, that your fans didn't know, but now that you came on my show to talk about it, now they know. I am really a mad ass person, you heard? I, yo, look, man, I be angry. He'll tell you I be an angry motherfucker. But for the most part, I be trying to chill. Like, when I'm on camera, I'm performing, or I'm doing this, I'm happy. I be angry a lot because, you know, life be fucking a nigga up sometimes, you feel me? And I be trying to hide it. I understand. But for the most part, I'm happy. Y'all see me smiling. You got a Rugrats jacket on. Do y'all see this Rugrats jacket? This is like official. I was going to wear my Rugrats shirt today. That would have just, that would have been... Like over the top, but you know, whatever. Shout Next time, my, at least we're on, same, Jossie, we're on the same. We're Thank on the same wave. We're on the same wave. Thank you, baby. She nah, bought it for me or she makes them? No, nah, she got it for me. Oh, she got it. Beautiful. Thank you, baby. Now, nah, but one main she thing did about good. me, she did good. um, I was, I was just all jokes aside. One thing about me, um, I'm a cool, calm, collective dude. I really like to have fun. I'm a real entertaining, make people laugh. Like, I'm a good person to have, a good person to be around. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have a down or whatever. Bro said it. Bro just told you, too. Whenever he's down, you know what I mean? I lift people's spirits up. You know it's saying? good to see that you guys are relatable. Like, like everybody, you go through trials and tribulations. And the fact that, you know what I mean? You're going to still push. I see you guys. Salute. How about you? Your mm -hmm. fans. Something that your fans didn't know, but now that you came on my show, I mean, now they know about everybody you. Everybody thinks I'm a serious guy. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I'm, always, I'm actually a fucking goofy. Like I, I, I be joking and like, like, clowning around you for me, but everybody perspective of me is all oh, he's serious or oh, he's mad. Nah, man. It's just I mean, I think that's like a New York thing. That's like a New York like, thing. Like, we got to walk around. Like, because if you're smiling and you're too happy, then people think you're soft. So it's like you kind of have to have that, like, Yo, I get it popping, but I'm real funny nah, once you like. That's just me, you feel me? That's just my face. <laughs> this is just like, your face. I always look yeah, serious, dude, but I'm, I'm always annoying the shit out of this dude, you know what I'm saying? I like pushing his buttons, you know him. I like that him. nigga over there? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna don't fuck with him in. over there. We're gonna zoom into him after. That nigga over there, man, don't fuck with him, man. Don't let this man fool you. He's really an asshole. Like, for real, <laughs> Dead ass. All right, so one message to all the people who are watching, because I don't know if I had said it earlier, but I know a lot of upcoming artists, DJs, people who kind of still have like that quote unquote real job, but you know, they still have their passions. Mm -hmm. What do you say to them? People who, you know what I mean? It's hard right now, they not getting the bag. Like, what do you have to say to them? To them, um, some people just need somebody else maybe their significant other or their brother or somebody that really love them to just give them that push and just keep saying what they gotta say to them. The mother of my child is the biggest motivation to me because when around the time I was doing the music or whatever, I wasn't pushing myself as hard as I can push myself to be better. I was just doing normal things that I was, like boom bat beeps to me is just something I could walk on. Mm -hmm. I can just talk my shit, it's easy. She got me into the, no, this is how you gotta do it. It's you gotta woman. start making, you know, it's the woman. You gotta start making music like this, people that's gonna tune in. So to me, that was my motivation. For the people out there that's, you know, that's going through what they going through, Maybe that's what you need. You gotta listen. This is a criticism, you know, this is a criticism type sport. You have to listen. If you don't, you're gonna stay in your little circle. And you ain't gonna go, your, your whole career is gonna be like you running on treadmill. You ain't going nowhere. You have to be manageable. Yeah, I didn't start, I didn't start taking off until I listened to the mother of my child. Now, I see exactly what she's talking about. We should say, oh, you need a manager, or you need this, you need to start doing shows, you need a cameraman, you need, I got all that now. That's, I, I I'm, that. I'm very happy that you're bigging up, you know, look, baby yeah, moms. Definitely. I'm not sure what the relationship status is, but the fact that you guys, I love you, baby, you, you guys, know that. It seems like you guys have a good relationship, co-parenting, that's essential, regardless of if you're in, you know, a relationship or not, mm -hmm. you know, being on that 
good tip with your you know child's mother is very essential to your child's growth and your growth as well so mm-hmm. that's a good little big ups because usually you know baby moms get the ah oh, you know the rah rah talk oh, and nah, like i she, like that you nah, did that she helped my career she helped my career that's good yeah, like, you did good girl you did look you at him did good. <laughs> look, look at him talking good about you so what about you sir you got a message for all the up-and-coming people who I are mean, i'm not the best person come for advice but um what i do gotta say is though like if you really want this you feel me like don't be on, like hesitant about it like oh you should i do this should i not because next thing you know it's gonna be fucking years later you feel me like you know i i've been rapping since i was like you know like a little ass kid and and some of these songs is when i was really young you feel me like and they still hitting today so it was like oh shit you know so that makes me think like yo if i would have started this shit a little earlier you know, maybe I would have been farther than what I am, but like I said, it's, it's never too late. You know, like I still, you know, still got a little youth in me. You know, but you mad young? Nah, it's a fact. Youngest nigga in the room. I remember when I, yeah, no, I, you're yeah, right. For me, like you know, I could have been farther. You know, if I started earlier, but I'm doing it now. So don't do, don't just be hesitant about it. Like should I do it? Just do it, bro. You feel me, like. You never know what's the feedback. You know, like even if you don't make it or you do me, you know, what I'm saying you just never know who's gonna fuck with your shit. You feel me? Like, I was really shy to present my stuff, you know? And then once people that I didn't know, I never met them a day in my life, came up to me, yo, I like your music. It's like, oh, shit. You know? Cause it always be the strangers, though, right? Of course. Why isn't it, like, the people that you actually care about? Nah, and, like, me speaking, like, you know, even with the people I do care about or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, for example, if somebody comes to me, like, oh, let me show, like, you know, and I'm speaking, you know, from my point of view, because somebody that I know, like, yo, hear my music, like, ah, oh, man. You know, like, even I used to do that shit. So mm-hmm. when I present my stuff to other people, you know, I'd be like, fuck, he's probably going to do the same shit. I'd be doing to other niggas, you know? So when a stranger comes to you and tells you, yo, I like your music, keep it going, it's like, you know, it's different. For me, it's That's why you do it. Different feeling. I don't know your whole in the world. You don't know who the fuck I am, you know what I'm saying? You just coming up to me telling me, keep doing what I'm doing. You know, and that's... Can we get that, that text from Nigeria? Nigga like, yo, we word. listening to you in Nigeria. We love you out here. I'm like, yeah, hey, hey, word. Shout out Nigeria, man. All the international... Every number counts, you know? Like. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming, guys. I need you to shout out your, your IGs one more time. Shout out the YouTube page. I want to make sure everybody subscribes to you. It's 4K Rocky. That's all I gotta say. G G W O G Dub in the fucking building. G Goon World Order on on YouTube. Goon World Order on Instagram. All major platforms. Y'all already know who the fuck it is, man. Oh, fucking Privy Life, get it right. Conectate. Liamediagroup.com.